Hi and welcome to Garden Guns. Um, recently I was looking online and uh, trying to find some stuff out in regards to some information on my huntsman and uh, I saw a question posted uh, asking what size of pellet would be best suited uh, to the huntsman regal, uh, whether you should use 451s, 452s or 453s. Uh, and up until this point I'd just blindly been using sovereigns in it because it to be honest, it seems they've, they've worked perfectly. Um, but I've just found out, or I've just settled down with 453s on my BSA Gold Star uh, that, I've, you, that I'm starting to use for HFT um, when I do actually manage to get around to going out and shooting uh, at a course. Um, so I thought, why not give it a go? Why not actually see if uh, 451, 452 or a 453 does make any difference at a realistic hunting distance of about 30 yards which is what my rifle's zeroed at, what my regal's zeroed at with the sovereigns. So um, I hope you enjoy. Uh, I hope it's going to be as interesting for somebody out there as it is for me. So anyway, if you do watch it I hope you're enjoying it. Thank you. Okay, right. Uh, so. First tin of pellets, 451s, I don't know if you can see on that, because maybe, hopefully, if you didn't, these are 451s, it's a brand new tin, okay, so I'm using the single shot tray in the Huntsman, I'm aiming at shooting five shot groups, and uh, hopefully there'll be enough memory left on my iPhone. To record the results. Okay. Okay, four, five, ones first. I'll tell you what, these 451s seem to be working out quite well. <laughs> okay, last shot with the 451s. And on to the next target. Okay, here we go. I think the wind slightly blew that one and just started to come up a little bit. So, <clears throat> but that's the four five ones. So next, four five twos. See if you can get those, I don't know. I can't see it, so uh, I hope that's the right way round. Yep, looks the right way round. Okay. Do you know what? I won't do that now. I will save that for later. Fun I'm gonna have. Sticky stuff, I hate sticky things. Ugh. Right. Just check, 451's done. They're no, down here, 452's. Here we go. So. Dum, dum, 
I am going to have a beer after this and light my barbecue. I think I pulled that one slightly. Three. I've lost count. There's three holes in there. I definitely don't. Ooh, pardon me for rubbing my nose. One more. Oi, kitten, what do you think you're doing? That'll sting you, you... If the cat gets stung, the cat gets stung. Okay, that's the full five. Twos and then finally four five threes. What I think, what well, what at the moment I think is my BSA's palette of choice. But I'll probably be wrong about that. I don't know what it is. I don't seem to be able to settle with that rifle. Although we'll see. It's probably just me in my head. Here we go. Keep clear, cat. I'm almost finished. Okay. Damn, pigeons everywhere. I think we've, we've got a field of wheat going out the back at the moment, in the back of our garden. There's a farmer's field out the back. And uh, I tell you, the amount of pigeons around at the moment, he's gonna get decimated, I think, this year. And with these new new general license, general licenses coming in for uh, all the, you know, the change in the rules, I don't think it's gonna be very good. But anyway. Oh, sometimes it takes a long time. Should have probably eaten more today. I think I'm a bit hungry. A little bit wobbly. Okay, this is starting to look a little bit on the conclusive side. <laughs> Two. 
last shot and then I'm going to finish off the control group now the wind's dropped with the sovereigns. That's, um, yeah, the 453 is definitely a pit. Either, either I've suddenly, yeah, the 453s are really good. <laughs> you know, I've, I'm, I've either just shot one of the best groups I've ever shot with this rifle or, yeah, it, it likes them. Okay, right, there were two control shots down at the bottom. You'll see on the, uh, hopefully you'll see on the shot video, uh, if there's enough memory left, as I said, on the phone. Uh, they were to check my zero with sovereigns. Um, so I put two shots down there. Uh, the wind, you know, it's coming up again again now. The wind did get up, so I sort of stopped and thought, okay, I'll shoot the, I'll wait, get reset up and shoot the rest of the groups and then come back to those as a control. So here we go with the control group on the sovereigns. shot with the sovereigns. Okay, that's it, finished, done and dusted. I'll just go down range and check things out and then I will be back with you. So, what are we looking at? So the 453s, that is my little fingernail on the 453s, there we go. Let me do that. And then the 452s, yeah, once again, okay, probably better with a thumb. Thumbnail, like thumbnail over that. Four five, just check thumbnail over that, and the four five. Once again, a thumb just about covers them, and the sovereigns. Yeah, yeah all bar one on the sovereigns. All bar one on the sovereigns under the fingernail. So it would definitely appear. Haha, <laughs> let me get you back. It would definitely appear that the four five threes are on that. Regal, anyway, with that barrel, those 453s are the preferred pellet. Um, that was a surprise. I didn't think there would be such a difference. I mean, it's either that or I've just literally, as I said earlier, shot the group of my life. I mean, I, <laughs> I've always said I'd rather be lucky than good. Anyway, uh, I hope, I hope whoever watches this has found it interesting. I've enjoyed making it. I'm off to light my barbecue. Hope you all have a good bank holiday weekend. Cheers.